Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44, and this is a prayer to intercede for the souls of North Carolina. And so I just ask if you happen to come across this video that you consider standing the gap with me for the souls of North Carolina, every soul within the confines of that territory. And so I'm just so thankful that you are here. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God of hosts, we just thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can come to the throne of grace to find help in time of need. And we just come to intercede on behalf of every soul within the confines of North Carolina, every one that their name is currently not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And Father, we just ask right now, Father, that you would touch the hearts and the minds of the people, that you would open the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf, and that you would give those a heart to understand who you are and to, to receive your love and to be compelled into um, a spirit of repentance, Father. We just intercede right now, Father, we stand in the gap and we ask for forgiveness of all of our sins, Father, every known and unknown sin, anything that we have done, Father, we don't want any of these prayers to be hindered. And so we just ask you to forgive us of anything, Father, that would um, stop these prayers from going forth and we put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of Yah, the breastplate of righteousness the girdle of truth, the sandals of the gospel of peace and the shield of faith and we just loose the blood of Yahushua over this prayer and over the souls of North Carolina and over the listener over all of our minds all of our hearts, over our, our soul over our vessels and we thank you, Father, again for this opportunity to just pray for those that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Di lore vera toro sentine sure viatara. Ora si lere vera toro. Ni doro se lere vera toro sentine se lere vera toro. Father, we just ask that you would today even arrange divine encounters with those that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life to encounter you some way, shape, or form through a person, through your word, through. Um, your angels through dreams or visions something father we're asking lord right now that you would sternly warn father we know that you've been so merciful we we recognize that you've been so kind to warn and to nudge and to try to guide but father we we realize father that many are asleep and we just ask father that you'd awaken those that need to be awakened father that you would knock pound even on the door of their heart father show them a glimpse of hell or heaven whatever it takes father for souls to come to you even today we're asking that souls from this prayer from us coming into unity from us coming into agreement souls would come that they would be burdened that you would send forth your angelic assistance that you would move in the hearts and the minds of the people of North Carolina to have a stirring to reach those that they could reach father within their um, realm of being able to do so father please heavenly father we ask that you would move mightily father we take up our cross and follow you and we father we stand in the gap for those that their name is not written in Lamb's book of life father we ask that you would remove father remove things from the souls the, of the people there that they need they, there's things that they need to remove out of their lives to be able to hear you or to be able to not be so distracted to where they would seek you father make them uncomfortable whatever it needs to happen father for souls to come to you those that their name is not written in Lamb's book of life we bind the strong man the strong man of the ground the strong man underneath the ground the strong man of the air the strong man over the water and Father, you said, or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So Father, we just ask that you would bind the strong man, Lord, that you would send forth angels, Father, to fight on behalf of the souls of those that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life from the kingdom of darkness, trying to continually keep them in a, in a spiritual stupor. Father, we ask right now that you would 
remove, Father, this uh, spirit of slumber off of this people and that, uh, remove a spirit of fear. We bind a spirit of fear. We bind a spirit of slumber. We stand in agreement with that, Father, with your purposes and your plans. And we lose the spirit of repentance. We lose the spirit of freedom. We lose the spirit of the, the spirit of truth to cover the minds and hearts of the people, to show them what hour we're living in. Father, please, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would save souls right now, Father, that you would move mightily on the behalf of the souls of North Carolina, Heavenly Father, that you would uh, just reach down out of your great love, out of your great mercy, Father, and that you would be merciful on whom you'd have mercy, mercy on. You'd be gracious on whom you'd have grace on, Father. And we ask that you would, Father, um, even speak, Father, speak to those that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life and show them, Father, what would happen if you came tomorrow. Father, please give them a warning. Give them more, Father, more of a uh, just a conviction to if they don't have a conviction give them a conviction father do whatever you need to do father break up the follow ground lord and show them father show them the truth father we just break deception off the minds and the hearts of those that their name is not written in the book of life through the power of the holy spirit we loose the blood of yeshua over their minds we loose the blood of yeshua over their souls and over their hearts because father it is the heart, it's the condition of the heart, Father, that uh, compels us to want to repent, to want to be able to do the things that out of out of our love for you, Father. Show them, Father, the, how much you love them so that they could receive your love and they would turn to you. Help them, Father. Father, we recognize, Lord, that your word says in Exodus 34 that the sins of the fathers, it turns on to the fourth, third, and the fourth generation. Father, we're just asking, Father, that you would pardon iniquity and that you send forth your spirit to breathe life on the souls of North Carolina today, Father. We're asking today that you would do this, Lord. Right now, Father, that you would move, Father, your angelic army out to minister to these people, Father, that they would be compelled to turn to you, Lord. We break off the spirit of religion. Father, please send forth your spirit to breathe life in dry places. Help, Father, even those that are in the church but they are lost because their heart is far from you. Lord, please, Father, show them, Father, reveal the truth to them. Di Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that you hear us. We believe, Father, that there will be fruit, some 30, some 60, some 90-fold from this prayer. Father, we believe that even one soul going to heaven, that's just so profound to know that they would spend eternity with you and not in hell from a 10-minute prayer. Oh, Father, you're so gracious to allow us to have opportunities like this. We thank you, Father. We, we praise you. We glorify you. Dora sel erevera toro sentinera su erevera tara. 
Nora se levaratoro, nera si levaratoro senti. So I just plead the blood of Yahushua over this prayer in the name of Yahushua by with a seal of victory. I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory. I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory. I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory. Again, I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory. I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory. And lastly, I seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua by the blood of Yahushua with a seal of victory, seven times strong. Thank you, Father. I believe that there will be much fruit, Father, from these prayers where many have come to stand in agreement and believing for it, Father. And I'm so thankful for this opportunity. We don't take it lightly. We honor you with everything that we are and, and everything that we do. We, sh we want to honor you. Thank you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Thank you, Yeshua, for giving your life. You're so precious. You're so beautiful. In Yeshua's name, amen. Bye.